And staying connected can be a way for people to get helpful help information. And that's the most important. Is this true? Yes. Tell me why. Um, many times individuals have a hard time uh, figuring out where they're supposed to go, what is it that they need. And uh, thankfully, we now have a lot of web pages. There's a lot of government web pages mm -hmm. where you can go and get the kind of information about um, where do I need to go? What is the best place? Who do I need to call? So there's much more information than there's ever been. Amy, is this something that you see as well, giving your patient that information for helpful resources? Absolutely. I, I do like to give them places they can look up information because it gives them the power to take ownership and take responsibility of taking care of themselves. So it, I think it gives us a little bit more empowerment and we can feel like we have a little bit more control over what's happening to us. Yes, and that control is nice. And a good kind of control, good right? Kind of control. <laughs> so sometimes navigating information can be tricky. So knowing where your information can be is helpful. Now, what are some other tips to help people find accurate information, especially when it comes to their health? Yeah, so I, I mean, I would recommend looking up professional organizations. So organizations such as the National Institute of Health, mm -hmm. um, government, you know, those are government organizations, as Martine mentioned, the National Institute of Mental Health, the American Psychological Association, American Medical Association, and other healthcare organizations like Baptist Health as well. And also just being mindful to run that information by your provider, because it's really easy to read a diagnosis or information right. about a specific medical condition and think, oh my gosh, that's me. I right. have that. <laughs> that sounds very common. Right. That is very familiar to me too. Oh, yes. this is it. I have yes. it. <laughs> and, and you know, making sure that whatever I'm also looking at treatments, right? We're looking right. at what's wrong. You know, what could be wrong with me, if anything, and then what are the treatments? And so, being mindful that maybe this is the general treatment, but what's right for me? And that's where it's. I would definitely encourage people to talk to their primary care physicians about is this treatment right for me, rather than just diving head in.